Good morning. Let me go ahead and try one more time explaining the modeling of allele frequency program. Okay, so imagine you have white seeds and dark seeds, and they're going to represent the alleles in a population. So let's imagine there are 50 people, and each person has some combination of light and dark seeds. Okay, so you have these alleles which are going to be the A alleles, and the dark seeds are going to represent the S alleles. And imagine I take the two cans of beans and I pour them all into a bowl. And then what I do is I'm going to now take out a seed combination. So I have to take out two seeds, and that's going to represent the reproduction of the next generation. So in a sense, you could pull out two white seeds, you could pull out one light and one dark, or you can pull out two dark seeds. And we're going to do this for 10 generations. Now, in this model, imagine that once you've sorted out all the seeds, you're just going to pour them back in and then sort again. So the idea is that every time you pull out a combination, that's apparent. And then this becomes apparent. And then for the next generation, they're going to reproduce. So in our computer model, known as modeling alleles, let's go ahead and take you there the computer system is going to do that work for you of sorting. So when you click on sheet number two, you're going to see that there are seed combinations. So if you have white, white, that's AA. If you get white, dark, that's AS. And if you get two dark seeds, that's SS. And then the computer program is going to go ahead and count how many A alleles and how many S alleles, and you get a total. So you'll notice it's 77 divided by 100 is 77%. So you're going to come back to your data table and you're going to fill in where it says generation 2, 77, and 23. So this is now the new combination. You come back to sheet number 2 and the computer program will now recalculate and say, okay, here's the new numbers. Let's sort them again. So imagine I just pour them out and I just take them out and this is the new combination and there's always going to be a chance they're going to change order because it's a 50-50 chance okay and then you'll just do that for 10 generations now once you've done that then what you're going to do is you're going to go and do what happens if there's a lethal mutation so if there's a lethal mutation in the population so you'll you'll start again with the cans of beans. In this case, I have 75 white and 25 dark. Pour them into our little bowl and we're going to sort them. But this time, if you get a AA, they survive and will reproduce. If you get AS, they're going to reproduce and survive. But if you get SS, sickle cell, this individual cannot survive to reproduce. So we're going to take those seeds out of the population. But the population has to stay at a total of 50 individuals. That means we have to change the proportions. And so what happens is maybe someone who's AA is going to have two offspring, or somebody who has AS will have two offspring. So the overall population will stay at 50, or 100 seeds even though some of them have died. So let's take a look at how the computer program does that. So if you click on the lethal mutation, you'll notice that I get a new number. I get 77 and 19. So, but you'll notice there's some red bars, and these are represented as the deaths. So we're going to take them out of the population. And as you can see, by taking out some of those, there's a new total of 96 survivability. So you need to do some math. You're going to take your 77 and you're going to divide by 96. And then you get 0 0.80 or 80. So you're going to come over here to the first page and you're going to put in the new percent based on that calculation. So of the survivabilities, the we're going to put in, and here's how you do the math. You take the number of survivability, those who are 80, A, divided by the new number total, times by 100, and then that number is going to go here. So it would be 80 and 
20. Now that's my number, so it's always going to be random. Then I go to lethal mutation here, change this to 80 and 20, and now I get a new number. And then I do the same thing again. I have to find the new survivability. So that's 80 divided by the new total, 94, and you go through that process again.